when the sunlight hits a cell, it hits the silicon, and the silicon converts that photon into an electron, and the electron migrates through and gets on one of these little wires, and gets on one of the main wires, these main bus wires. Several cells are wired up in series and parallel. So you have 60 cells on this panel to make 240 watts. This is 6.2 kilowatts of solar panels. There's 26 panels in all, 240 watts a piece. So this goes into the truss. That's bolted on here to this rail, which they call the racking. And this little bolt kind of twist locks into this groove here and it gets held down on that side. Over here on the other side, you've got this other kind of a mounting. It's, uh, it's meant to hold two panels down. So it holds down by the racking, ties on here and sinks it down. And very simple, elegant design, but it, it holds down beautifully. This, this system has been designed to withstand 134 mile an hour wind. I'm gonna show you underneath this panel here. One's positive and one's negative. Since all these panels are tied in series, one of these wires will go down and tie into the next panel's wiring. And then that one ties on to the next one and on and on. I have 26 panels in all and two strings. So 13 panels on a series. 38 volt panels, you get darn near 500 volts open circuit voltage. This wire is not very thick. This is 10 gauge wire. It's got a high voltage uh, insulation on it, but 10 gauge wire, you think that's not very big for solar. At 500 volts DC, uh, it's only gonna be carrying eight amps of, of current through that wire. And we've actually got two strings of eight amps, so uh, to, you can get 6.2 kilowatts with just 10 gauge wire. Not a, not a bad idea, really, really elegant system. By the way, my roof pitch here is a 612. It's uh, in the neighborhood of 30 degrees pitch. Now the two series strings for the solar panels, they uh, come here. You have positive and negative 500 volt DC, and another one, positive and negative 500 volt DC, with a third or a fifth wire. This is the ground wire. We're in the attic now. Now those five wires that we saw before on the roof, they come out of a vent in my attic here and they snake down through this conduit here, all the way down, and they go down here and down into my garage. So it all has to be in metal conduit. You don't want 500 volt DC uh, getting shorted out or inadvertently yanked on or tugged on or bitten on. Okay, now the conduit comes down the garage wall and down this conduit feeds into this DC disconnect and goes up into this Sunny Boy 7 kilowatt inverter. As you can see, it's uh, the inverter is off. It's flashing now. It's going through some of its status, what it made the day. Oh, just shy of 40 kilowatts today. Not a bad day for end of April, and telling things are normal. But uh, this inverter is, it uh, does a fantastic job of efficiently converting this 500 volt DC down to 240 volts AC, which then feeds down through this other conduit, through this cutoff box, into my basement. I'm now in the basement, so the power comes down in from the conduit into this breaker box here and feeds into this 50 amp breaker. On a typical spring day like today, I'll make way more power than I need, so if my house doesn't use it, it'll just feed it back to the grid.